All right, Shalom. Shalom. I want to start off with give our praise our honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakodash. The one to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the whole Felek. I hope this video will be edifying. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the topic that I want to be talking about today is if you eat good right no well not even if you eat good it's it, the point is eating good is already a workout you know eating good is already a workout you know you don't have to like for example if you work a hard laboring job right you don't have to I, I gotta eat healthy then I gotta go to the gym seven times a day I mean seven times a week you know doing stuff like that it hey the scriptures talk about body bodily exercise uh, profited little but still man if you work hard laboring job uh, hard laboring jobs that require a lot of physical work a lot of physical work eating good is everything you need then man because Boom, you already doing physical work, right? Physical uh, hard labor. So your body is already doing that exercise that you actually sh would have been doing in the gym. And then on top of that, you eating healthy. So basically you go to the gym and you eat healthy. That's it actually, man. So that's that's why I want to wanted to make this video, you know? And it, it's not only for the people that work hard laboring jobs, but just in general, just in general, man, because not everyone has that spirit to uh, work out, you know, not everyone has that spirit to work out. I know, I know, uh, anyway, people don't have that spirit, not, not everyone has that spirit to work out. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes 13 and 25. And it reads, a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. Right. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. Right. When you a, hey, you should, you should take good care of yourself, man. Only a person that 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 that's good willed will do that, man. Keep keep his keep his um um body in check. You know, keep his body in check, making sure he's eating the right things. You know. In this truth also a, a cheerful and good heart a the scriptures talk about blessed blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness the scriptures talk about that man and i'm gonna i'm, I'm, I'm gonna get that real quick i'm gonna read that real quick <sighs> this is matthew 5 and 6 blessed are they which do hunger and thirst thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled right you take care of your body you 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 um trying to listen not even listen but trying to apply the law senses and commandments onto your daily based life that is already righteousness in itself man even if it's hard and you hey that's why i say it, to the best of your ability man a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat the scriptures talk about hey, a you shouldn't eat this you shouldn't eat pork you shouldn't eat shrimp you shouldn't eat lobster you know the scriptures talk about those things you shouldn't eat duck you know you shouldn't eat horse the name a list goes on man the list goes on but the point is a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet and the people that are uh for example you are in this truth right yard I'm speaking on on behalf of every sincere brother in this truth. The scriptures talk about blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. We 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 want to do good, you know. That's like it's already a yartaza. We want to do good, you know. We try to do good to the best of our ability, you know, because that's just what pleases Yah Bashim Yashai, you know, that's what pleases Yah Bashim Yashai, so can you get, so can you get the Sarak 30 at 15, this is Sarak 30, uh, starting at verse 15, health and good estate of body are above all gold, and the strong body above infinite wealth, 
Yeah, keep going. Verse six, for, uh, sorry? Keep going. Verse 16. There is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. Right. That's how important, important your health is. And you should take care of yourself. That's, that's the most important thing, you know? And with one of the responsibilities with taking care of yourself is having discipline, you know? Not eating a lot of sugar, not eating a lot of salt, you know? Hey, even Esau, <laughs> here you have it, the most carnal people on the planet Earth tell you the, and, and do studies and yeah, do studies about those things, right? Make studies about those things. Like if you eat eat too much eat eat too much uh, meat, you um, it's it's gonna work backwards on you. If you eat too much uh, sugar, it's gonna work backwards on you. You know, high blood pre pressure, you name it. You know, even Esau tells you that it's better it's better to it's better to take care of yourself because that's this body is a gift, man. The the, the scriptures talk about that. And that was in, uh, I believe it was 1st Corinthians, 1st Corinthians, let me get that real quick, let me get that real quick, yes, I got it, so, this is, um, this is 1st Corinthians 3 and 17, if any man defile the temple of Yabashim Yashai, him shall Yabashim Yashai destroy, for the temple of Yabashim Yashai is holy, which temple ye are, you see? The temple is this body, man. It's a gift, you know? The That's a priesthood? Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, wait a the, the, This temple, the temple is your body. You, you got that, you got, you got it as a gift, you know? You got it as a gift. The most I gave you it, and you're gonna, you're gonna, a hey, eventually, you're gonna have to give it back, and it goes back in the into the earth, and you and, and your body dies, but your spirit go go uh, gets called up to the Father, man, to the Father of Father of all spirits. Now the point is, if any man defile the temple of Yahweh Yashai, him shall God destroy for the temple of Yahweh Bashim Yashai is holy, which temple ye are, you see? As an Israelite, as Israelites, we aren't supposed to be eating pork, uh, shrimp, lobster, uh, rabbit, horse, you name it, crocodile. Hey, the people in the Caribbean, they're eating some wild stuff, man. You, Jake isn't supposed to be eating those things, you know? You see Moab, Mo, Moab, Moab eating horse, 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 uh, uh genitals, you know? <laughs> hey, Moab. never, never things happen to them, you know? Nothing happens to them. But when Jake's eat it, then Jake's all of a sudden get, get on the, on his skin, get, gets, uh, you know? <laughs> he, he gets ailment on his skin or he start growing big pimples, you name it, man. But Jake, Jake... Mm. Jake isn't supposed to be eating that stuff, man. You, you shouldn't be eating those stuff in general. You shouldn't be eating those those stuff. Yeah, man, I saw some stuff, man. I saw some stuff on social media. It's ridiculous, man, what Moab does. This shit is disgusting, man. But anyway, can you read the Sarak again, Babakasha? Oh, oh, no, no, no. You had the precept? Yeah, on what you were saying. This is First Corinthians uh, chapter six, verse nineteen. But know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Right, 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 right. It's a gift, man. It's it's the most I gave you this body. It's not like you made this body yourself. It's a gift. So you should, for example, if someone gives you that brand new mercedes benz <coughs> right that brand new mercedes benz matter of fact let me let me let me let me let me search it up so you have a good a good fishing right got that new mercedes benz right you got it you got it as a gift from your from your parents right 
got that got it as a gift you ain't gonna treat this car like a piece of shit like if you if you would have had a, a car that's only worth 100 100 euros or 100 100 dollars this car is worth more than 20k you will take care of it man every day you will clean that car up 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 make it nice and smooth you know make it smooth make it look good you ain't gonna treat it like a piece of crap because it's a gift that's first and foremost and if you if you uh treat it like a piece of crap then you basically disrespecting the person that gifted you that car and then secondly it's very valuable and the scriptures talk about your body is valuable so you can even translate that car and apply it to your body man it hey the script we just read it it says sarak 30 and 50 says health and uh, and good estate of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth you see above infinite wealth you see you hear that because when you sick right someone is handicapped he, ha he has two million three million euros he is so rich he got a lot of money two three million right but if he can't even have intercourse with a woman what is that two two three million worth you know i'd rather be broke and still have intercourse with a woman than be rich and i cannot even pro pro prolong my seat prolong my seat line you see that's why hell that's just one example you know that's why one of one of the examples why health and good state of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth you see so uh, ca can you read that precept again babakasha this is Surah 30 verse 15 health and good estate mm -hmm. of body oh the that other one yeah the precept this is first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which ye have of god and ye are not your own yeah man yeah man slack can you read it one more time yeah what know ye not that your body is a temple of the holy ghost which is in you which ye have of god and ye are not your own right it says it which you have of yabashim yashai and not of your own man it's a gift you know it's a gift now i already made that example on that it was a, a beautiful precept now let's go to Sarak 37, Babakusha. You there? This is, this is Sarak 37, <coughs> verse 29. Be not unsearchable in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meats. For excess of meats bringeth sickness, and surfeiting will turn into choler. But by surfeiting have many perished, but he that taketh heed prolongeth his life right eating so much that <gasps> you can barely breathe you know eating so much that you can barely breathe now if you look in if you look into the word excess right definition the definition of the word excess an amount this is excess, excess. an amount of something that is more than necessary permitted or desirable so it's basically you doing too much doing way too much doing more than is necessary doing more than is necessary for your body you know that's why you shouldn't be unsearchable in any dainty thing in any dainty thing man don't be unsearchable. The scriptures talk about don't uh, 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 the scriptures. Hey, you have a lot of scriptures. Yaratza, actually, after this video, I'm gonna make a video about that with the brother man. Yaratza, um, speaking about your body, you know, not a video about your body, but this time with um, temptation, with lust, uh, just uh, the the worldly pressure uh, pleasures. But back to the back to the story. <laughs> Un be not unsatiable in any dainty thing right don't be greedy man don't be greedy now 
if you look into the word unsatiable, it says impossible to satisfy. So that's that's where that gluttony demons comes in, you know. It it says un unsatiable, insatiable, insatiable, insatiable of an appetite or desire impossible to satisfy so that's where that gluttony comes in if you look into the word gluttony this is one of the seven huh, esau calls this one of the seven deadly sins being a gluttonous you know being a gluttonous because what happens when you when you when you when you being a gluttonous this starts happening matter of fact let me let me share my screen then you can also see uh what i'm seeing how do i do that Actually, share screen. Uh, yeah, you seeing it? Do you see what I see? Yeah. All right, check. This is being gluttony. This is being a gluttonous. You know? Being a gluttonous. Eating so much that you you become fat like this. You know? eating so much that you cannot you you wake up in the in you wake up two two hours well not two hours but you wake up in the evening almost morning three in the morning or something like that <laughs> three in the morning you wake up you you take a piss you eat you go to sleep again you wake up you eat you eat you eat rinse and repeat the whole time this this that's what being a gluttonous is eating so much man they even show that in uh, different horror 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 um, movies and scenes and games you know always that gluttonous always that gluttonous example or not even example they just put that in the they just put that in the game you know a person that's very fat and ugly you know always eating shit you know That's it, man. That's the point. Now, anyway, let me stop my sharing. Uh, right now, where were we? We were we were at uh, yeah at Sirach thirty seven. I'm gonna read it one more time. Be not unsatiable, right, in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meats. For excess of meat bringeth sickness and surfeiting will turn into scholar a uh, scholar choler choler right don't be act, don't be don't be doing too much on meat and food man you know don't be doing too much hey coming from a i'm saying this because i was <laughs> i was very very fat man i was i'm almost 20 kilos uh lighter now you know and that's coming from from a person that was always eating a lot, eating eight times a day, seven times a day. You know, it's ridiculous, man. That's why you gotta ask the Most High for guidance, for strength, so you can so you can um, <clears throat> also wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, so you can apply these scriptures, man, and. Um, ask for strength so you can uh, overcome that gluttonous demon if you have that on you of, or if you had that on you because um, nah it's not it's not good man it's not good at all can you read uh, to, 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 to. so what do you do what yes for Akasha this is Sirach 31, verse 20. And it reads, Sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. He rises early, and his wits are with him. But the pain of watching and choler and pangs of the belly are with an unsatiable man. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 Khan. <laughs> I was thinking about something, Salakia. Yeah. So, yeah, man, that's it. You know that's it sound sleep coming off moderate eating when you eat good you're gonna sleep good you know he rises early and his wits are with him but the pain of watching and choler 
and fangs of the belly are with the unsatiable man with the man that that is never satisfied that always will eat and keep eating until his belly is so full that he starts doing this he can't even breathe you know can't even breathe has pain in his belly from eating all that food that's why when you see these gluttony people you always see them like always always they always they being like that always because they are unsatiable you know never satisfied you know that's it man now i hope this video is edifying i want to give all praise and honor and glory to yahweh bashim yashai bashim rakakodash the one who said that is an apostle of great millstone shalom to the whole i hope this video is edifying and shalom shalom